what's up guys welcome to your next video on cpu sim so in this video we will be going to talk about fetch and decode of instructions so the fetch and decode phase is nothing but fetching of instruction from memory to the register in cpu so that uh, ac can perform its functions operations arithmetic operations and shifting etc etc very fast so that the instructions should be in to registers first and the decoding is nothing but uh, how the cpu understands the return code so let me talk about this here yeah, open cpu sim so here's a program written don't worry about this program it's a bit long so don't take it seriously so let's take example of iz direct f so if i want to execute this instruction so if i have written this here so it is nowhere but in the memory so here it is on 5 so it is on 3 here so what does that mean so the instruction written here will show in two binary digits here so 010101 here so what does the cpu do in fetching fetch in fetching the cpu will take the instruction from here to the ir here and address of the rise of the instruction to here and the and the address of next instruction to be executed here and in ac whatever the content we give it uh, so it will be in ac so everything goes into executing phase after the fetch and decode phase so we have to prepare the cpu for the executing phase executing part of the program so that we have to give it the address of next instruction we have to give it the address of current instruction we have to give the instruction to it so in decoding the cpu will understand what does sta mean what does direct mean what does o mean so let's get started creating the fetch and decode sequence for our machine so decode ir is already there so we have to just give it few micro instruction that we have created in the last video so there is a particular sequence guys so don't mess up with this sequence so just follow what i do so firstly there is something called transfer r to r so we have to transfer the content of pc to ar so that we point to the current statement current instruction so then we have to put the instruction that is on particular that given address to the instruction register so it's also in memory access so in memory access it's mar to ir so then we have to just increment PC so that it points to the next instruction to be executed so this is increment PC so then we have to check that it is whether a memory reference instruction register reference instruction or uh, input output type of instruction so let's go to test conditions so it's D7 and let, uh, I will explain this in further so AR uh, yeah so it's again this so we have to put the address part of the instruction into ar if this condition follows up false so what does this mean so if d7 is equal to equal to 1 then skip so if d7 uh, that is 111 for 13 14 and 15 bit of the our instruction is 111 so that means simply that it is either in re register reference instruction or an input output instruction so we ha don't have to go there so this part is only going to be executed if we have uh, memory reference instruction so if memory ins reference instruction comes up so this statement gets false so this is to be executed here so then we have to check for the addressing mode so this is i bit i bit is address mode bit so we have to check for the addressing mode of the instruction so in this the i bit is checked so if this condition gets false so what does we have to do we have to send the effective address and from the effective address that is ar now 
so we have to send the effective address to AR so that uh, in the executing phase we can extract the correct operand from this address so then decode with so let me check this is true so we have to first put the address of uh, instruction we want to execute then the instruction is put into IR so then increment PC then check for the uh, type of instruction then check uh, send the address part to AR then check for the addressing mode then check then send the effective address to AR then decode IR so after decoding the CPU will correctly understand what does this statement mean so save this machine control plus B guys hope you get this video right now like this channel like this video whatever you want to do comment share subscribe uh, just let me know what you feel about the video and so guys that's all for this video uh, so we will need meet in our next video so till then bye and hope you like this video uh, just let me know what you feel about this video in the comment section below bye guys thank you for watching this video